squad. And we're underway. Hawkeye's gonna work it around. The number one team in the country is that's poked away that'll head into the blue turf out of bounds. Yeah, it looked like there was Aaron Riley getting in the way for the Wolverines. Iowa's gonna play it in. That's Harper Dunn. Nice look here down the far side. Good work to knock it away. Richardson with it now for Michigan. And Zach, the Wolverines really have their work cut out for them today. Undefeated so far this season on their home turf, but the Hawkeyes haven't lost a game. Michigan coming off of a Tough loss in Columbus. Looking to bounce back and knock off the top team in the country. Yeah, the Hawkeyes number one in the country with good reason. They've outscored the opposition 39 to three in their eight games so far this season. Nice stick work by Irvine to come away with it there. Gibson just gonna flip it back to DeRose and Iowa will reset. And good pressure applied there early by the Wolverines forcing Iowa to reset rather than continuing to press. Now gives the Wolverines the ball back. Shorts pass, couldn't find a recipient. Michigan takes over. Gibson lost her stick there. Aaron pass, can't find Laura Clark. Here comes Iowa. Schalk will swipe it in. Schalk centers it with Waylon. And it's going to stay with Michigan. Claire Taylor with it. Taylor, the Richard sophomore from West Simsbury, Connecticut. Short, right on the edge of her own circle. The pressure from Michigan here. Results in a turnover. Now we've seen Claire Taylor be active on defense early in this game, forcing a couple takeaways for the Wolverines. Here comes Clark, some excellent stick work there, just couldn't control it. Hawkeyes doing a good job to just possess early. Forcing Michigan to chase. Here's Van also the top scorer in the country. She's gonna take it all herself. She's swung by a trio of Wolverines in the far corner. And I think that's how the Wolverines have to play this. Even though they didn't get the ball there, they just got it out of Van Alsom's control. Centered with short. Nice slide there from Paldi. Just can't come up with the ball. Here comes Michigan up the near side. Paldi with it. No one home for the Wolverines. Rose. That's knocked out by Riviola. Riviello, excuse me. I think we're seeing early here. Iowa really is 
keeping control as far as time of possession goes, but the Michigan defense doing a nice job to prevent Iowa's offense from really getting into a rhythm. They really haven't had any major scoring opportunities yet, despite having the ball so much. Here's a potential chance here for the Hawkeyes. Excellent save, rebound, saved again. Great work from Kaylee McMahon. The Hawkeyes had an excellent chance. And the Stanford transfer comes up big time for Michigan early. That was a real good chance for Iowa. They had a couple looks at it, but Kaylee McMahon stood tall. It did get two shots off there for the Hawkeyes, but could not get it in. Here comes Iowa. Again, kicked away by McMahon. More and a speaker. Kaylee McMahon, one protecting the cage for Michigan. It's DeRose, with nowhere to go. Did that Wolverines finally get possession of the ball back, and as you said, great work by McMahon there. And now hopefully for the Wolverines, she can get a bit of, the, bit of a breather here. This experience for Michigan lies in the back end. A lot of youth up front for the Wolverines. Here comes Rosie Hope. She finds Paldi. Paldi gonna play it again for Hope. Hope can't get there. Rosie Hope, another player with experience on this Wolverine squad that lost nine players from last year's team. Loses it, and it'll be Iowa up the near side. Irvine with it. Whistle blows, it'll stay with Iowa. A couple of substitutions as Van Alsom checks back in. The ball finds her immediately. Nice move from the freshman. So I will take it for the 25. And that one just slides right through everybody. It'll go to Michigan. Wolverine's defense standing tall once again there. Forcing an errant shot that went wide left, now giving him the ball back. Oliveros will slap it right down the center. Laura Clark now trying to create for Michigan. Finds Rosie Hope. And Michigan now with a chance to get something going. Juliet Manzur couldn't get there in time. As we approach six minutes left in the first quarter, still knotted up, zero apiece. And it does feel like so far, this is more of a defensive game on both sides. We saw Iowa get that one really good scoring opportunity, but otherwise it doesn't really feel like either team's able to get much going as far as scoring threats. Irvine can't find a teammate. Michigan with a chance. And Zor with it along the far side, just inside the Iowa 25. Trying to pass into the circle. It's blocked away. Gia Whalen was the one that deflected it. And 
despite the 0-0 score, the Hawkeyes already out shooting Michigan 3-0. I think that's really a testament to the time of possession differential that I think definitely is favoring Iowa. And of course, we saw two of those shots I think came on the same possession when Iowa really seen locked in at a good chance for McMahon save two shots. Otherwise, not much really going either way. Both coaches continuing to make substitutions. This looks like we have an injured Hawkeye on the field. end for Iowa. Drops off the field. We're back in play. Missed play there. Here's a chance for the Hawkeyes. Gibson. Here comes Van Alsom in the circle, weaving through traffic. Guys will send it in from the 25. That pass can't find a recipient. And Michigan survives another attack. Yeah, I think we've seen the blueprint for them defensively so far really is just to crowd the ball, especially when Van Alsom has it. And just even in some cases tripling her. Here comes Michigan down the far side. Centered. Looking for a shot, I believe that's Laura Clark. Iowa doing a good job to get it out of the circle. Michigan's first real chance comes at about the 3.30 mark. And this time Iowa holds strong. That was Kate McLaughlin that had the look. Ball trickles to the near corner. Wayland tries to split a couple of Michigan defenders. De Villigan and Hope. Leva Schalk will fire it away. Luke Veen plays it up to Bremacombe. Taylor just trying to find a teammate and Bremacombe slipped. Drybos fires it in to Shulk. Shulk surveys. Just opts to reset. And it kind of feels like so far as we get into this final minute and a half of the first quarter that, I mean, both teams have been applying a lot of pressure, I think. But it also feels like just a lot of the passes haven't quite been on target. And that's been disrupting a lot of the possessions, I feel like. Here comes Gibson again. Gibson's been fantastic so far today. She'll take a shot. Again, deflected away by McMahon. Esme Gibson has really led a number of runs here early for Iowa. Just hasn't been able to capitalize. Now here comes Michigan. Manzor. 
his way to McLaughlin. She'll turn. Come on! Lower your body! No, you got a chance! Whistle and it stays with Michigan. Taylor, knocked away, finds Hope. Another whistle and Iowa takes it the other way. Irvine hits the deck. Whistle, no car. Five seconds to go in the quarter. Hawkeye's just gonna let it run out. Buzzer sounds. It's 0-0, zero, zero, late horn. 0-0 zero, zero through one quarter of play. A big matchup indeed, as you said, it's a top 15. And tight matchup here. Feels like Iowa's controlled a little bit more, especially with the ball. They've gotten the four shots, but very strong Michigan defense, leaving this game scoreless after one. McMahon's been brilliant so far for the Wolverines as Van Alsom just tries to cut right through the Michigan defense and is unsuccessful. Underway here in the second and that pass just made its way over the touchline. Now here come the Hawkeyes. That's gonna be poked away. But I think they're gonna say she used the back of her stick, Aaron Riley. Wrestle it, away, wrestle it away in the corner. Sent down the side for Paldi. And we haven't had to say her name at all today. Mia Magnata has been fantastic this season for Iowa. Six shutouts on the season. The Hawkeyes have been so dominant this year. Lead the country in shutouts. They lead the country in goals allowed and goals scored. With that, also have the best scoring differential in the country, beating teams by an average of four and a half goals a game. They earned that number one ranking by knocking off the number one team in the country, North Carolina, in Chapel Hill earlier this season. Here comes Michigan. Looking to make their own name. Nobody home there. That'll go straight back to McMahon. Olivero surveys for the Wolverines. Finds Clark. Clark wards off a couple of Hawkeyes and will slap it just out of the reach of Aaron Riley. Riley a big contributor for this Wolverine team. like not really a lot of spacing going on by either team, a lot of clusters, and I think that's causing some of the errant passes just because the players are all kind of clustered around the defense. Michigan gonna try to get something going here. That'll be slapped down to Paldi. Paldi makes her way into the circle. Good look is fruitless. Baldi unable to get a shot on net. Go, go, go. 
Michigan's now had a couple of runs, just the Hawkeye defense has been able to really stifle any true opportunities. Here's Claire Taylor. Finds Oliveros. All the way down for Laura Clark. Clark looking for a teammate. She can't find one, it's poked away. Lindsay Stagg now. Go to Iowa. It's been a pretty clean game so far, Zach. I haven't heard too, too many whistles. Yeah, defense playing, defense applying a lot of pressure, but not being overly physical. Getting a lot of clean deflections, as you said. Paul D with the high press. That'll just be slapped away. Freeman in pursuit for Iowa. Here comes Rachel Irvine. That'll slip through to Freeman. Freeman tries to fire it into the circle. Blocked away. As we have another turnover there, I really think that, I mean, McMahon has the four saves, but I really think that the defense has done a good job limiting the number of shots I was gotten that McMahon's had to save, given how high power of an offense they are with those 39 goals, averaging almost five a game. Manzor checks in for Aaron Riley. Richardson bounced off her foot. Awesome. Picks it up. Good use of the body there by Rosie Hope. Into the far corner. What's the ruling here? I think they're going to say that was slapped out intentionally by Michigan. Stays with Iowa. Michigan trying to go the other way. No one there on the left side. Hawkeye's going to work it around. Schalk. Fires back for short. Here comes Van Alsa, man. That time it's poked away. Manzor. No one home there. Once again, Iowa had the ball for a while, but Michigan's defense did a good job staying close to the ball and preventing Iowa from getting any opportunities until eventually they lost it out of bounds. Rodi Yellow with it now for Michigan. She's been a real bright spot early, the freshman. Natalie Millman just lost control of the ball there. Schulk into Gibson, back to Schulk. And there's an air pass there. Chance for the Wolverines. And the Villigan can't find the net. First shot for the Wolverines. 
Goes high and right. The Villigan in the right spot at the right time. Yeah, by far the best look the Wolverines have had uh, and just a shot that they'd like to execute on. Again, another one of these freshmen that's asked to play a big role offensively for Michigan and DeVilligan. And there's our first card of the match, green card issued. Check the number on that in a minute. Shot for Iowa. A great card has been awarded to Iowa number 27, Jason Whittle. It's Jason Whittle for the Hawkeyes getting the green card. Hawkeyes work it into the circle again. Michigan got to clear it. So the Wolverines with a advantage here for a couple of minutes. As the clock ticks down inside of 5.30 to go in the first half of play. DeVilligan gets her legs taken out from underneath. Clark gonna keep it going, but it's gonna be ruled dead. Marsha Pankratz looking for a card there. Arguing her case with the umpire. Here's Veen. It was popped up by Rachel Irvine, so it'll stick with Michigan. A stick work there. Wolverines with a chance. The first save of the day for Magnata. Yeah, Wolverines with a scoring opportunity there. That's the second one that they've had so far this game. And you just figure they are going to need to create a few scoring opportunities to try to get on the board here. Back to even strength. She served her, her punishment. Under four minutes to go here in the half. Short with it. Veen intercepts. Anouk Veen fires it in. There's a chance for Michigan. It's Millman and Millman Gets it wrestled away. Sophie Strybo's got in there. Michigan has had a real, real chance a couple of times now. They've done an excellent job getting it into the center of the circle. They just haven't been able to turn it around and get a shot off. Yeah, and I think that is still a big positive sign for the Wolverines because early on in this game, it looked like it was going to be Iowa. Here comes Iowa. Excellent pass break up there. Serena Bremacombe got the stick down. That looked like a three on two for the Hawkeyes. And as I was saying, it looked early on like Iowa was going to be the team that would eventually break through because they had all the scoring opportunities. Now with Michigan getting three scoring opportunities in a row, you don't really know which team's gonna break through and get that first goal. Burnett takes it all the way down the right side. Um. 
And it looks like we're gonna have our first corner of the evening. Michigan, gonna have a chance to execute here on a set piece. Clark will fire it in. Chop blocked by Magnata. She laid down on the ground and just absorbed it with the body. It was a good look from Michigan. That was a great save there. Magnata has not had to do much tonight so far because of how stinty that Iowa defense is. But there, she had to go all out laying across the goal to prevent that one from going in. Gibson with about 90 seconds to go here in the half. Short to Gibson. Hawkeyes trying to work it upfield. Pass there from short. Aaron Riley now, under a minute to play. Back to Bremacombe. All guys now trying to set something up. as the clock ticks down. Nearly a chance there for Kate McLaughlin. Under 30 seconds to go here in the half. And it looks like once again, both teams kind of scattered, not really getting close to the circle on either side. And I was just gonna be comfortable to let the clock run out here. And that'll do it for the first half of play here in Ann Arbor. Let's head down to Yasmin for an injury update. As Michigan will get us started in half number two. Burnett. Iowa takes over, tried to find Riley down there. Michigan with some high pressure here, trying to force a turnover. They do. The yeah, Wolverines will see here now if they can get into the circle. That just goes over the back line. Here comes Burnett. Umpire will signal to take it from the side. Rosie Hope trying to slip it in to Burnett. Wolverines once again unable to come up with anything after starting with the ball in Iowa territory for these first couple minutes. They got some good opportunities late in the first half, but they need to keep attacking and getting into the circle to eventually get one in. Hawkeyes out shooting Michigan six to three in the first half as Michigan gets it into the circle, but nothing doing there. these teams with a lot at stake here. This is the opening game of conference play for Iowa. 8-0 on the season, all in the non-conference. Obviously, we alluded to it earlier there. Big win in Chapel Hill earlier this season, knocking off the defending national champion Tar Heels. Here 
comes Annika Irvine. They'll just float it into the corner, no one's there. And Michigan a little too excited there. Taylor's going to be told to bring that back. There's a chance here. And that finds the back of the net. Easy look for Miranda Jackson, the freshman. And looked like just a sudden turnover there that led to the quick shot. It just caught McMahon out, completely out of position right there. Easy look for the freshman, and she buries it. That'll break the seal, 1-0 Hawkeyes here at Oker Field. And the Wolverines defense has been playing a very solid game so far. That was just the result of an offensive turnover, not really giving the defense or Kelly McMahon any time to set up and prevent that shot. And the number one team in the country strikes first here in Ann Arbor. It's been a good one. Through a half and change. That's Jackson's fourth goal on the season. Another one of these talented freshmen for Iowa that's been contributing in a big way. And like you said, Zach, just a, a mishap there. On the back end, no one home for Michigan, and that's too easy of a look. Nothing McMahon can do there. Here come the Hawkeyes again. But excellent work from the freshman to bury the chance. Michigan had a similar look earlier and couldn't put a shot on net. Great discipline from the freshman as Iowa continues to possess. You know, we've seen the back end for Michigan has played very well. They've had some trouble at times creating scoring threats in the front end, but that's at least given the back end enough time to set up for defense. Taylor working on the ball now for Michigan. That's going to be slapped right into Sammy Freeman. She just eats it. Zach, Michigan's in a 1-0 hole now. Is there anything you change up tactically? Are you trying to really force the issue more? Or do you think if you're Marsha Pankratz on that sideline that you just play your game, there's enough time left, you've got almost a full half? I mean, you don't want to go into complete desperation mode, but there have only really been a few good scoring chances the Wolverines have had. So I think they need to work a little faster to create more of those scoring chances. And then I would also spread the offense out more because it feels like the Hawkeyes are clustering around the ball, which the Wolverines defense has also done effectively. And then there just aren't open passing lanes to create multiple threats into the cage. Michigan now, and Mantor just can't keep it under control. Warren DeRose fires it back. Schalk surveys, 
finds the stick of Anouk Veen. Now here comes Iowa. And now it's gonna be a corner for the Hawkeyes. So it was Michigan that got a corner chance at the end of the first half and about seven minutes into the second half of play, Iowa will get a look to extend their one nothing lead. Yeah, this is very important for both teams right here because Michigan is still in the game if they can keep it at one nothing. Whereas if Iowa can get up to two nothing, with how strong of a team they are in the defense they have, that will be extremely difficult for Michigan to overcome. J.C. Whittle will initiate for the Hawkeyes. And that was awesome that got the look at it. Her shot just goes long. Too high. It was a great stick stop. Everything set up perfectly, just couldn't execute on the shot. I think it's those kinds of opportunities right there that Michigan really needs to capitalize if they want to create those scoring threats to try to even up this game. Starting every possession from their own side of the field, they just seem to have difficulty pressing into Iowa territory without losing the ball. Here comes Gibson. Gia Whalen drops it off. Michigan really fighting there. Michigan tried to go quick and move it up the pitch, just blocked away by the Hawkeyes. Shot on net, excellent deflection there by McMahon, barking out orders to her defense. Monica Irvine puts it in for Freeman. Michigan looking to try to weather another storm here. Short to Shulk, finds Gibson. That's picked off by DeVilligan. Michigan with Clark. Clark trying to weave through defenders. She has it just on the outside of the circle and it's gonna go off her foot. I think those really are the types of mistakes that Michigan needs to avoid in trying to get back into this game. Because they've had a few good scoring opportunities and we've seen a couple of great saves from Magnata, but they have to at least put a ball on the net to really give themselves a chance. And it feels like they haven't done that enough so far tonight. Only one shot on goal for Michigan. Today, we've got four, about 4.30 left in the third quarter. We've got about 20 minutes left to tie this up. Excellent pressure from the Hawkeyes.
And Zach, Iowa has stayed extremely aggressive. They're not looking to back down yet. They're really trying to extend this lead. They're not comfortable with a 1-0 lead. Yeah, I mean, they are still playing a talented team in the Wolverines, and Iowa knows how to win these games. They're 8-0 on the year, and so they're just going to stick to their formula. Obviously, if it gets to a point where they really have a commanding lead, maybe they change things a little bit, but one nothing is not that, and so they really just don't have a reason to go away from what they've been doing at all since it's been so successful, not just this evening, but all year. That's a great point. They have just been able to stick to their guns and they've got great results from it. They're really well coached by Lisa Salucci. Three-time reigning Big Ten Coach of the Year. Nice work there. I believe that's Roviello. Pass can't find Reviello. Hawkeyes take over. Michigan's got to get something going here if they want to get back in this game. Guy's just going to reset it all the way back with short. Trying to get it to Dion also. And also, we haven't said her name too much today. She scored in every single contest that the Hawkeyes have played in, including two against North Carolina. Yeah, she scored two goals in every game she's played this year, at least. Has 21 on the year through the first eight games. Leads the country. Three-time Big Ten Freshman of the Week. And in fact, of the 40 goals that Iowa's now scored this year, including the one they got tonight, over half of them have been scored by Van Alsom. Crazy to think she's only a freshman. Inside of a minute to go here in the third quarter. Pass, bounces straight back, kicked away at the net. Inside of 20 seconds. And it flips to Michigan. And that should do it for the quarter. Horn sounds as Shulk sits on it. Michigan. Gives up the first goal of the game on an errant pass. It was a great finish from Miranda Jackson, the freshman. Got the job done for Iowa. Hawkeyes on top, one to nothing. There's the goal there. Errant pass and Jackson executes. Van Alsom on that corner, got a good look, just couldn't convert it. And we're right back to the action here in Ann Arbor. Hawkeyes on top, one nothing. Off the stick of Miranda Jackson. 
Jackson with it now, flips it back. As the Hawkeyes are 15 minutes away from a perfect 9-0 start to their season. And are looking to kick off conference play with a win. Michigan fell 5-1 in Columbus in their Big Ten opener. And we know just how tough the Big Ten is in field hockey. So we'll see with both teams, Michigan trying to avoid falling to 0-2, and, and then Iowa starting the conference slate here. They have that number one ranking right now, and we'll see if that sticks just with the difficulty of the schedule that they're going to be playing. But there's good reason that they should be the favorites in the conference with how dominant they've been so far, and they've proven they can do it against tough competition as well. Michigan had a shot there. That ball just slipped through a couple of legs. And it looks like we're going to head to the replay room. Here we go. Clark to play it in. And she scores! Michigan knots it up. It was Aaron Riley. But they're going to take a look at this one to see if it stayed low enough. Michigan appears to have knotted it up here. Aaron Riley stuck it in the back of the net, and they're going to take a peek at this. Looking at the height, the ball cannot go above the blue solid backstop unless it is tipped. We've had a real roller coaster here, haven't we, Zach? Yeah. Three reviews here just in this quarter alone after only having one in the first three quarters. As of now, it's a tie game as we see just a clean look and just get to pass the defense. And Hard to see if that was tipped or not. From my view, it didn't look like it was. Excellent execution from Michigan. It was Claire Taylor that got the stick down to stop it. And then Aaron Riley ripped it into the back of the net. Just have to see if it was a bit too tall. Like we've said, Zach, a real pivotal moment in this contest. You got to get this right. Yeah, I mean, we saw right there the shot just went directly over Magnata as she dove to her right and almost went behind her a little bit. But, of course, the question is, was it too high? And after official review, it is too high, no goal. Home crowd. Not too happy with that one, but I think they got it right. I don't. Put, I didn't see that ball get tipped on the way in. And so Iowa survives a scare on the corner. And so now Iowa will take over. This home crowd's really getting into it now, Zach. They're fired up after that replay review. And as you said, this whole fourth quarter has just been a roller coaster. Clark tried to walk it in with her stick there.
Now Michigan continuing to possess in the Iowa zone. Riley gonna slap it in. And it'll go to Iowa. Or excuse me, it'll stay with Michigan. Riley finds Burnett. Michigan continuing to try to work it around here. Oliveros just can't control it. Now here comes Riley. Schalk right in there and it looks like she will get the ball back for the Hawkeyes. Riley trying to fire it into the circle. She's been all over the ball for Michigan as of late. And I think if this score ends up staying what it is, this early in the fourth quarter, will be one of the pivotal moments that we'll look back on. Michigan had that corner kick, potential false start for Iowa, got overturned, and then got that, what looks like initially like a beautiful shot to tie the game, ruled just too high, leaving Iowa with this one nothing lead. Here comes Michigan again, getting it into the circle. Pankratz fired up about that call. Michigan trying to put something together here. Clark, locked away by Magnata. And also fires it away and just misplayed there by Wesneski. As you said, this Wolverines crowd really behind this offense that is just an attacking here early in the fourth. This place is really getting loud as we approach the final 10 minutes. As Michigan with another corner, executed wonderfully last time. Shot just went a bit too high. And this is really the first time all games act that I always look to be a little bit on their heels. Yeah, Michigan really has had the control of the game here in this fourth corner, within literal inches of getting a game tying goal, they've been attacking, they've had opportunities. And I said that last corner probably was gonna be the best look they'd have for the rest of the game. Well, now here we are, they have another one. Can they capitalize right here? Here comes Clark to insert. Fires away. That's gonna be blocked. It was Van Alsom that got out there first. So now we'll go again. Again, Clark will insert. Michigan with some misdirection. And Oliveros just can't get the shot off. Hawkeyes trying to go in transition. De Villigan. Zach, 
this has really been a fantastic match down the stretch. Yeah, when we saw this early in the fourth quarter, Wolverines getting opportunities. Now, Iowa's kind of halted their momentum a little bit, but it feels like Michigan's in this game with a 1-0 deficit a lot more than it did back at the end of the third quarter. Brandon Jackson nearly had a breakaway a moment ago. Here comes Whittle. Drybos' pass is knocked out of bounds. As Clark will head off for Rosie Hope, she'll get, she gets a breather. She's been all over the place for Michigan. Hope, the fresh legs, gets beat by Van Alsom. And the freshman gets it knocked away. All the way across for Alana Richardson. Here comes Richardson. Hawkeyes making their way back and they're able to stifle the run. Approach 7.30 to go here in the fourth. Schalk. Short takes a big rip there. Richardson. Tried to play it in. I think the big thing for Iowa now is they really need to control possession for a little while in Michigan territory. That's something they've been a ver done a very good job of throughout the first three quarters, but we see right here another turnover and Michigan's back on offense. Kicked away by Magnata. Hawkeye defense will get a chance to set up. Michigan gonna work it around. Here's Burnett. Burnett making a nice run. And Michigan earns another corner. Here's Kate McLaughlin to insert. Veen with it. another corner. We'll head to review now. Our fourth or fifth review of the fourth quarter alone. Yeah, we had a very, very quick three quarters. And it was looking like this game might be done in an hour and a half. And yet a lot of reviews and stoppages here in the fourth quarter. And what's really been a thrilling quarter despite the fact that we haven't had any scoring so far. And Michigan tried to work it back out to Richardson there. Call on the field is a Michigan penalty. Hawkeyes request the video referral. Lachlan that inserted there with Clark on the sidelines waiting to check back in. And after review, it will stay a Michigan penalty. Call on the field stands. And with that, Iowa now loses their referral.
Kay McLaughlin will insert again. Michigan's had a couple of good looks here. one nothing Hawkeyes, under six minutes to go here from Oker Field. Insertion, clean. Shot, knocked away, excellent save with the mitt from Magnata. And we'll do it over. And I think Michigan is just doing a really good job of continuing to press. Even there, they have the shot. And it's a good save by Magnata. Excellent save. That was upstairs, and she just swiped it away. And then, yet, yeah, even after that, Michigan continues to go after the ball, and now they have a chance to make Magnata make another save. McLaughlin again. And that's deflected back. Excellent run out there from the Hawkeyes. They're going to look to try to punish Michigan in transition. Oh, there were two streaking Hawkeyes. And Iowa just could not center it. That was Miranda Jackson that had it on the right side. Excellent kick save there from Kaylee McMahon. Iowa with their first really good look. Here's a chance for the Hawkeyes, and they'll double their lead. Iowa extends it to two. Alex Wesneski sticks it in the back of the cage. And that is a crowd silencer right there because it felt like throughout this entire fourth quarter as we take a look at the replay right there. And just got, got McMahon out of position. It felt like this whole fourth quarter was dominated by Michigan, yet Iowa was out in front. But now Iowa is the team that scored in this fourth quarter and the two nothing deficit will be much more difficult for Michigan to overcome here. Under five minutes to go, Michigan down two. That was Alex Wesneski, the senior, her third of the season. And Iowa survives a Michigan assault here in the fourth, encounters clinically. There's a reason they've got that, that one next to their name, Zach. And I was just waiting to see as Michigan kept getting those opportunities. Wasn't able to capitalize. When was this game going to flip back to Iowa? When were they going to... Here come the Hawkeyes again. Gia Whalen. Under four to play. Sophie Sh Strebos. Excuse me, Strebos with it in the corner, plagued by a trio of Wolverines. Shulk. Three minutes on the clock. Iowa up two to nothing over Michigan here in Ann Arbor. Michigan on the break trying to center it is Alana Richardson. There's a green card awarded. A 
as Michigan will pull McMahon. Yeah, they really don't have a choice here. We've seen him get opportunities, but not be able to put it away. And so with that extra player advantage, they are desperate here, needing two goals in the final two and a half minutes. And that green card was delivered to that Michigan sideline and Marshall Pankratz. Two fifteen to go here. Hawkeyes up two nothing. Michigan has pulled McMahon. Wolverines need to put something together really quickly here if they want to get back in this game. Burnett. Nowhere to go with it. Michigan takes it at the 25. Veen. Van Alsom picked up a card as well. Hawkeyes will essentially be playing two down until the 10 second mark. Schalk in the corner, just trying to kill time. Under 60 seconds to play now. And at this point, even being down two players, all Iowa really needs to do is stall for time. And they should be able to avoid letting Michigan score two goals. They got whistled there for taking too long to make a play. Michigan trying to create something here. And they'll draw a penalty, Michigan with 40 seconds to go, earns one more corner. And Zach, this feels like too little too late, but crazier things have happened. Absolutely. It's gonna be very difficult to score two goals here in the final 39 seconds. But of course, they have to take it one goal at a time. And if they can get this one in here, there is a chance, however slim it may be. Clark to insert for Michigan. Nothing doing. Hawkeye defense holds strong. Do one more corner. 16 seconds left on the game clock. And Michigan has really had a lot of these opportunities in the fourth. And I think not being able to capitalize on them may be the single biggest factor in this, what right now projects to be a 2 nothing loss. And that Wesneski goal came off of a Michigan corner where the Hawkeyes got out and ran. Blocked. And that should do it. Horn sounds, your final from Ochre Field is Hawkeyes two, Wolverines nothing.